Okay, pulley. So, it looked like you were having problems making a funnel and having it adhere to a shear. So, I'll just use an example of a funnel as well. Uh, so, basically what I'm going to do is delete the default cube and then add in a circle. And let's just try and make it resemble the shape of a funnel. That yeah, that makes, that's okay. So basically what you've been probably doing is adding in background images in this tab here, and then that'll tell you the general shape of the funnel. And you've probably been going into the profile view and you know you'll extrude to here, and then you have to make a little lip here to differentiate the bottom of the funnel to the top of the funnel. And then when you're trying to make the top of the funnel, you have to match the shear up exactly or else your funnel is going to look all wonky like that or that. Those are weird and extreme, but you get the general idea like it's a nightmare. So Blender has a way where you can do this automatically. So let me just delete that and add in another circle. And again, just try and make it look somewhat like a funnel. And then you switch over into object mode. You can't do it in edit mode. And then you're going to match the shear or the angle that the funnel is supposed to be sitting at with your blueprint, your diagram. And then all you have to do is come over into edit mode with the tab key or just switch over into edit mode and press E to extrude, Z, and that's gonna move it along the global axis. But if you press Z again, that'll move it along the object axis. And now you can basically just extrude it however much you want. So let's say the funnel's that high, you come in here and you're gonna make a little lip to differentiate again between the top and the bottom. So you come and you don't know how this lip is supposed to be positioned. Again, you just press G, Z, Z, and now it follows along the path. It's pretty simple. And then extrude it one more time, scale it down a little bit. And again, let me move into 3D view so you can see more of what's going on. You can just press E, Z, and then Z. And now it follows along the path. No matter what view you're in, orthographic perspective, no matter what angle you're looking at the model from, it'll always be 100% perfectly in line. Uh, you can use that for decks, deck housing, funnels, the masts, anchor cranes, basically anything you can think of. So I hope that helped you out and explained a little stuff, and I hope you have a good day.